God, it was like five years ago. When I saw something that completely changed my life. Have you ever heard of a movie called Alice in Wonderland? It's about a girl named Alice who goes down a rabbit hole after she sees a rabbit who is late to a tea party. Along the way, she meets various characters like the Dodo, Tweedledee, and Tweedledum, the Mad Hatter and Mad Hare etc. I don't understand why Alice looks cool in the movie. Could it have been that she was voiced by the same actor in Peter Pan? Well, yes. However, something strangely happened when I came across something haunted about this film. I was 10 years old when I encountered this strange thing. One afternoon, I was staying at my grandmother's while the rest of my family went to see a movie that I didn't care for. I was watching TV when my grandmother came in that she had some videotapes for me to watch. Most of them were Alice in Wonderland, Spider-Man, and Stuart Little too. I thought that I would watch the first one because it's been a few years since I watched this movie. But when I opened it up, something concerned me. It wasn't a sticker label or ink label like most real video copies, it was a paper label. I was thinking that this was a bootleg copy. So I kept quiet about the tape to my grandmother. I put the tape in the VCR and let it play. At first, there were previews for some old Disney movies, then the opening credits rolled as normal. However, after they rolled, something was wrong. Instead of the scene with Alice and her sister, it just showed the scene where Alice goes down the rabbit hole. But after that, it cut to black for 19 seconds. Then it came back on with a shot of Alice crying in the forest. And there was the sound of her sobbing. But the scene lasted for five minutes before cutting to a reddish color. Then it faded to black again with blood-covered text that said I am coming. The text faded while Alice's sister showed up. She said, Hello there, I'm Alice's sister. If you are watching this, now is the time to eject the tape because Alice is coming. All of a sudden, there was a loud footstep. Then Alice's sister screamed, Oh God, she's here. Quick. Shut the tape off now. So I ejected it like she asked. I didn't want to see what was on the rest of the tape because it was probably scary. A few hours later, my mom came to pick me up. I asked her if I could bring home the tapes my grandmother gave me. And she said yes. This was a perfect opportunity to investigate where the tape came from. One day, my family said I could be home alone because my grandmother was at the senior center and my visitors Maynard and Christine were in Washington visiting their brother. When they left, I called the police to ask them where this video came from. I told them everything about the tape. So they came to my house within three minutes. I rewound the tape before playing it. I was too scared to look at the rest. While playing on the PS3, the police claimed that they had some screenshots for me. One picture was of Alice with a knife in her hand. Another one was Alice on a crucifix while she was naked. And the last one scared the crap out of me. It was a sketch of Alice killing my father. But I'm glad it was a sketch because if it was real, I would cry by then. Just then, one cop remembered something. He used to be an intern at Walt Disney Home Video before he was a police officer. He claimed that a man who knew about Satan created the VHS before he got fired for Satanism. The cops then left to tell me that they knew this person's address and they were going to arrest him. I went outside and smashed the tape with a sledgehammer. That tape was destroyed by me. I will never watch any more Prince of Alice in Wonderland by different companies. Goodbye.